Hello, this is Mark with Bed Bug Supply. Today's question is, how do you get rid of bed bugs naturally? Um, it, it's definitely a little bit more involved when you do uh, completely natural uh, treatments in that uh, usually when you use man-made uh, pesticides that are labeled for indoor usage by the EPA and uh, your normal powders, um, it may be a little bit more effective, but uh, you can definitely do it without those if you use more of a product-based approach, which is what we offer on our website as well. Uh, if you look at our website, you'll see an article that says how to get rid of bed bugs naturally. Um, just take a look at that, and it goes into more detail than this more summary video. Uh, the first thing you want to do basically is um, go through your room and uh, get rid of all the things you don't need anymore. It could be uh, magazines or newspapers, things like that where bed bugs could be hiding. Uh, you want to put those in sealed bags and dispose of them properly. That way, you don't infest other areas. Uh, when you get done with that, you want to go through the entire room and uh, vacuum. Uh, that could remove some of the bed bugs that might be in cracks and crevices, especially along the edges or any kind of like uh, cracks in furniture and areas like that. When you get done with that, you want to uh, use a steamer to steam the hoses of your vacuum to ensure there's no bed bugs left behind. So if you put it back in your closet, uh, they don't infest different areas. Um, you can also remove the bag from your uh, vacuum if applicable, or you can steam the, um, the enclosure where the debris goes to from the vacuum to ensure that everything's killed inside of it so you don't, again, contaminate other areas. When you get done with the uh, vacuuming, it's important to make a sanctuary. You want to make something where bed bugs can't get to you. So if they can't feed, it's more difficult to breed, more difficult to get through all stages of development. So what we want to do is we want to move the, the bed away from the wall. Uh, remove everything from below the bed and uh, take the mattress and box spring off. Then we're going to take a uh, steamer uh, and basically steam all of the cracks, all of the uh, side rails of the frame. Preferably you want to use a bed frame that doesn't have a headboard or a footboard. Headboards and footboards usually have nice cracks where bed bugs can hide making it a little bit more difficult to treat. So a bed frame is usually your best option. So you want to go ahead and steam the frame uh, away from the wall and then uh, when you get done with that, you want to take uh, certified uh, bed bug proof encasement so we've been lab tested against uh, live bed bugs to make sure that it works. Uh, we carry Safe Rest on our website. Um, they're very good and they, they, they do the job very well. Um, when you put the mattress and box spray encasements on, your newly treated frame, then you take uh, climb up interceptors. These are very important because you're kind of using yourself as a, a lure during the treatment. So you give off CO2 and body heat. They normally come towards the bed, they climb up the legs of your bed, and they feed on you, and they go back in cracks and crevices after that. So how it works is you put on the legs of your bed, so nothing is touching the ground except for the legs, and they climb up the, the edge of the interceptor and they fall in. So again, you're using yourself as a lure, so it makes your treatment much more effective. It also helps to reduce chances of anything feeding on you while you sleep, even if you're in an infested area uh, with bed bugs. So after you get done with the, um, the mattress and box spring encasements, you, you went ahead and treated the frame, you put the interceptors on, you moved away from the wall, it's kind of in, more in the middle of your, your room. Um, you want to make sure you remove any kind of essential pillows. That, you know, that If you have four or five pillows and there's two people, just use two pillows. That way you don't have one fall off and it creates more of like a, a bridge to come back up into the bed and, and feed on you. So that's the first portion of the natural treatment. Um, you can also, while you're doing this, uh, we have uh, heat boxes, uh, whether it's from Zapbug or from uh, Pactite or Thermal Strike. Uh, you can put belongings in that to treat them, whether you have like handbags or shoes. Uh, it makes it very simple. It heats above 120 degrees. And it naturally just cooks them basically and kills all stages of bed bugs, including the eggs. So it makes it very simple to keep your belongings. Uh, smaller items. If you have larger furniture you want to treat, you might want to use like a zap bug room where you can put larger pieces of furniture or larger items inside to do it faster. So it's whatever your budget is. Um, when we get done doing the, the mattress, the box, we're going to treat up our items in, in the heater. Uh, you can go through the room and you want to use a, a, a good steamer that has uh, temperatures above 220 degrees or 210 to 220. Anything above 180 kills bed bugs on contact. So this one here just happens to be the, the Vapamore Primo, which is a very popular dry vapor steamer that we carry. So you go around all the cracks and crevices, you steam them about one inch per second. 
That way you can kill bed bugs in any kind of harborage area uh, and areas where they might be hiding. So think like a bed bug, they usually hide within about five to eight feet of the bed. So they could be in nightstands, they could be in your dresser. So you want to be very thorough along the baseboards, any kind of crack or crevice. We're using the steamer basically as a contact killer. So you go through those. We have videos that show you how to use the steamers. So make sure you take a look at those and make sure you do it the right way. Um, we have more of a, uh, a natural evergreen uh, powder that you can use inside your electrical outlets. Um, if you're going completely uh, green, this is one of the best products to use. Uh, it uses pyrethrin, which comes from the chrysanthemum flower, so it's an easy way to naturally kill bed bugs. You take off the electrical plates, and then you would uh, use an applicator, and you would pump them in to the, um, to the wall voids. Um, always follow the MSDS and uh, product label for safe and effective usage. So as you go through this, you want to definitely take a look at the interceptors every day to see if they're getting worse or better. Normally, they should, the, the population should go down. You shouldn't have any bites at all, and you can uh, see how your treatment is, is going. You may want to do follow-up treatments every three to five days with a steamer, and for maybe, uh, I would say, two to three weeks. Uh, if you're having no more bed bug bites or any more uh, bed bugs inside the interceptors after about a month and a half, two months, you should be bed bug free. Make sure you keep your encasements on for at least a year to a year and a half. We recommend usually a year and a half to ensure that if there were bed bugs inside the mattress or the box spring, they would be trapped inside. So they'll die eventually of starvation. So this is kind of a, a brief rundown on how to do it. If you have any questions, we are open seven days a week to help you. Toll free at 866-238-9868. Again, this is Mark with bedbugsupply.com.